All right, welcome back. It's uh, opening day of the Iowa trapping season 2021, and we're gonna do a little bit of water trapping. Um, we found an awesome area that's just full of, full of beaver, so then you're gonna get everything, mink, otter, raccoon, all of it. So what we're gonna be doing for this particular time is, is we're gonna be doing a little bit of beaver snaring. So right through here, we've got a dam just downstream from us and we've got a ton of these runs where they're coming up into this cornfield here behind me and then we got these muddy muddy runs here and this one in particular is really nice because it uh, funnels down and you got kind of an overhang there so we're gonna stick a, stick a snare in there and uh, see if we can find a beaver we're probably gonna put in a half a dozen or so um, so let's get started all right so what we have is if you watched our, our other snaring video from last year same setup essentially is we've got just a rebar stake. I think it's about three feet long. Uh, you can push it way down in there. That way the animal doesn't get free, especially when you're messing with, you know, 50, 60 pound beaver. You're going to want something that's going to hold them in place because this, uh, this particular set is generally not going to kill them. So they're going to be alive when you get there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take our, our, our uh, rebar stake here. It's just got a little about a 12 inch piece of number nine wire on it. We've got a snare. Just your aircraft cable basic snare you can find these online you can build them uh, however you want to do it take that on this end here and like i said we're going to go right into this overlay so i'll push it down as far as i can get it and then we'll have to hammer it in it's about as far as i can push we just got a mallet here That's probably plenty far enough. I'm gonna kind of move some of this out of the way so as not to affect my snare as it pulls closed on the animal. Pretty decent little clear spot there. I'm gonna grab my snare. And for beaver, you're gonna want a good sized loop. Raccoon, you know you're gonna want about the size of your hand. Probably looking about right there for a raccoon. Now beaver, we're gonna take that and make it much larger. And on top of that, it's gonna wanna sit pretty low to the ground because they sit pretty low to the ground. Their bellies are gonna rub the ground and essentially what they're gonna do is they're gonna either come up in here or they're gonna be sliding down it. Not walking upright as much as some of the other fur bears. We've got our snare support here. This, this one particular is just a little piece of plastic hose, just slightly bigger to uh, support that aircraft cable and that number nine wire. But it's gonna sit about right there. So that's basically what we're gonna have for all of these. We're gonna fill in several. Um, each one's gonna look a little bit different, but uh, we're gonna come back in the morning after we set the rest of these and see if we can catch one. Thanks for watching.
All right, so what we have here, we're on the other side of the actual creek now, and we found uh, probably the best trail we found yet. So if you can look right here, you see this muddy slide. They're sliding all the way down into this water. I've already got one snare stuck right there. And this spot's so good, I'm gonna go up just a little bit further where it kind of funnels up there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw another one in. That way, if something comes through here, we've doubled our chances of catching it because I think this is the one they're using the most of right now. All right, we've got you know, probably close to half a dozen snares set for beaver. And uh, so we're, we're sitting pretty good. We'll see what, uh, what's there tomorrow and then the next few days. And uh, hopefully there's a big old beaver waiting for us. Thanks for watching. All right, morning one check of our beaver setups and that really muddy trail across the way we got a double two beavers i can see across the way right now so we're gonna head over and uh dispatch those all right a couple of beavers right here that is a good double we're gonna get uh Gonna get these two dispatched and uh, remake our sets if there's anything to remake. All right, what a heck of a first morning. I think we only had like eight or nine traps out. We had some bait hole sets. We had some beaver sets for uh, snares here. And uh, we ended up with two giant beavers here. Um, just awesome. I've never caught two <laughs> beavers in one trail. That's uh, definitely a first and a pretty rare thing. So um, here they are. One of them's a pretty good sized one. It's uh, pretty large, this second one over here. And then the other one's probably one of the younger ones. So, um, but uh, that's that's beaver snaring in a nutshell. Um, it's, it's not overly complicated. Uh, the most important thing is you gotta look for the sign. Um, and once you find that good sign, just make sure you make a good set, good solid set make your snare the right size and uh, it's gonna happen. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more trapping videos. Uh, they'll be coming. Uh, you've seen, you saw our bait hole set uh, video from this year. A couple of coons over there for that one. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. All right, just kidding. Coming at you with a little bit of bonus content here. So out here for day two of checking traps because we still have some of our snares out for, for another day or two. And uh, we got a, a nice rare catch that I just couldn't uh, let you not see. So in our beaver runs, we had all those snares. And today we've got a nice, really big bonus otter. You do not catch these very often, at least in the state of Iowa. They're starting to make a comeback, but you don't catch them very often. And this one appears to be really, really big. So, I'm gonna get this otter out of this trap. All right, we got it out. This is a giant, beautiful boar otter. I've never seen one quite this big. This thing is huge. Um, snare, our snares aren't typically designed to kill things, but the way this was caught, luckily he was was dead upon arrival, which is which is handy because these things are feisty and. Um, you know, we'll probably do something with the pelt as far as taxidermy wise, just because we don't see these very often, especially this size, and avoid any blood on the fur or anything like that. So, yeah, there's your bonus otter. Thanks for watching.